Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. Today, the saint of the day, St. Ignatius of Loyola, is one that helps us to really hone in on a particular way of praying, which we call the Ignatian way of prayer. So let's unpack this powerful disciple of Jesus who helps us to come to dialogue with God in a very real and tangible way. St. Ignatius was born in 1491, and he died in 1556. Known as St. Ignatius of Loyola to each of us, he was a Spanish Catholic priest and theologian and founded the religious order called the Society of Jesus, or best known as the Jesuits. Pope Francis is a member of the Jesuit community, so a religious order that truly focuses on the missionary work and teaching of Jesus as they share that with the world. In addition to the vows of chastity, obedience, and poverty, St. Ignatius instituted a vow for Jesuits of obedience to the Pope and to pay attention to special projects that are given by the Holy Father. It is the Jesuit community that were instrumental in leading the Counter-Reformation. For those of you church history buffs out there, your eyes just got big. St. Ignatius helps us to grow in what's called the spiritual exercises, or Ignatian spirituality. And so I wish to give us a crash course on what that looks like, because Ignatian spirituality is one of the most popular forms of spirituality that we find in our church. When we think of Ignatian prayer, friends, it's often defined as imaginative, reflective, and personal. St. Ignatius encouraged people to develop an intimate relationship with God a God who loves them and desires the best for them. Ignatius trusted human desires. He believed that our deepest desire is to return to God's love. And so he also trusted human feelings, though. He believed that feelings of joy and sorrow, peace and distress, were important indicators of a path toward fruitful decisions and a deeper union with God. At the heart of Ignatian prayer, friends, are what's called the spiritual exercises and the daily examine. The daily examine is a technique of prayerful reflection on the events of the day in order to detect God's presence in my life and to discern his direction for me. The examine is an ancient practice in the church that can help us, friends, to see God's hand at work in our daily experience. So when we think of the five-step daily examine that St. Ignatius practiced, here's a crash course on the five steps. Number one, become aware of God's presence. Number two, review the day with gratitude. Number three, pay attention to your emotions. Number four, choose one feature of the day and pray from it. And then number five, look forward to tomorrow. So again, Number one, be aware of God's presence. Where was God with me throughout the day? Number two, to review the day with gratitude. Lord, thank you for the things that you've given me. Thank you for the gift of today. Number three, pay attention to your emotions. How did I feel through the day? Lord, today was a day of great frustration for me. Lord, today was awesome. Number four, choose one feature of the day and pray from it. Lord, I'm just so grateful for my wife because I can't imagine my life without her. Lord, thank you for the gift of my granddaughter. She brings such joy to my life. Lord, thank you for the gift of yourself in the Eucharist today. Only you give me strength. 
And then again, number five, friends, looking forward to tomorrow. Lord, thanks for the blessings that bestow me tomorrow. I'm heading to bed. These examines that we can examine our lives each day help us to really enter into who God is and how we spent our day. Some of his spiritual exercises, friends, have to do with reflecting upon the scriptures and then helping us to identify what the scriptures mean for each of us. The spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius help us to come to know ourselves and God. In examining the exercises, which can be very simplified or quite complex, allows us to realize whether we are new to Ignatian spirituality or perhaps have used it for so many years that it becomes so natural for us to understand where God is moving us. In his spiritual exercises, St. Ignatius suggests that each of us should pray over an invitation by God to come to know him and to engage him in a particular way. Any good that we do throughout our day helps us to realize that our spirituality should be one of action, that we are invited to labor with Jesus in building the kingdom of God. As we respond to this invitational call from Jesus, St. Ignatius invites us to pray to come to know God more intimately, to love him more ardently, and to follow him more closely. This petition is repeated as we pray over a gospel passage. As we pray over the passage, we are invited to enter into the gospel story. Think of a character that we might want to be. What would it have been like to be in that story, to hear the call of Jesus as he calls Zacchaeus from the tree? What would it have been like to be one of the mourners that were crying over the death of Lazarus, only to see that Jesus raised him from the dead? What would it have been like to be fed by Jesus with those few loaves and fishes on the mountain? Each of us can become a main character in the story, or we can become a bystander or friend that we invest in this prayer as we prayerfully discern the passage and its impact on us. Then it's important that we move through the exercises to pray over the passage and to pray as though we're having a conversation across the dinner table or in our living room with someone we love or respect. We speak to Jesus as we would our best friend. We can speak to Mary, our mother. We can speak to God the Father or the Holy Spirit, or to one of the saints whom we can identify with. I can really identify with St. Peter in the Gospels. You know, passionate, outspoken. He loves Jesus, but sometimes he just doesn't get it, and he's got to learn the hard way. I can resonate with St. Peter. Can you? Each of us, as we pray over these scriptures, can enter into the spiritual exercises of reading the passage once, putting ourselves in the story, understanding what is transpiring, then conversing with God in such a powerful way that we realize that, as you've heard me say, friends, the scriptures are God's love letter to us. Just as players on a team need to communicate with each other and the coaching staff to recognize the successes with gameplay, so too are we to dialogue with God as he sets us up with the plays that lead us to happiness, holiness, and joy. I encourage each of us, friends, to examine the spiritual exercises and ask ourselves the question, could Ignatian spirituality help me to grow in my relationship with God? The four characteristics of Ignatian spirituality are as such. One, it presents for us a vision of life based on the first principle and foundation of our faith. Two, again, it calls us to action. 
Three, it invites one to experience intimacy with Jesus, who suffered, died, and rose for humankind. And then finally, it gives us the eyes, the desire, and the ability to find God in all things. This spirituality that God has given to us through the hands of St. Ignatius help us to engage with others who know that to pause and reflect allows us to know God, to know that he's present in our life more than we can ever think or imagine. Friends, if this is touching your heart, if you're finding that your prayer life right now might be stale or dry, perhaps the saint of the day may be inviting us to a a different way of praying. I invite you to look up Ignatian spirituality or speak to your own local priest or religious sister about that. Perhaps the Lord is inviting us to feel his presence more than we ever have before. With so much focus on St. Ignatius talking about the contemplation on the love of our God and his presence in our lives, May we open ourselves up to this spirituality and challenge ourselves to grow just as St. Ignatius did. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of St. Ignatius. We thank you for the gift of the Jesuit community throughout our world who has made such an impact on teaching others about you. Help us to open our hearts to embrace this form of spirituality, to pray over the scriptures, and to look upon our day and realize all the daily blessings you've given to us, the joys of the day, and also the challenges that may face us tomorrow. Help us to embrace your word and the scriptures with joy and to realize that each of us are active members of your family, as you call us to love, to build, to forgive, and to understand. Amen. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. For God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us on our Ko-Fi ko-fi or gofundme at god's playbook podcast thanks and god bless